I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between T1 and DK during round three of the LCK 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Frost is going to be utilized. Ona now fighting Lucid, but this is a dangerous one. Zayas moves on down as Lucid needs to be so careful. Is Ona going to go down? No, he's not. The blue buff getting aggressive, but there is Showmaker. He doesn't have flash though, remember, so he's likely to fall down. It's a fantastic case. Whoa! As Zayas, he gets knocked into the sky and Showmaker's trying to walk it off. Baker flashing after him. Now Kingen chasing down the Emperor. Does manage to get the slow no here. Can he find it? He has the red buff here as well as Faker trying to get out of the way. That Q just not finding the mark as Faker just shifts the sands over the wall. Get picked up as we do have Drake. Yeah, possible fight for this one as there is full information over here. The go! Yeah, Showmaker trying to clear out vision, but I don't think he's going to be able to make anything happen. No flash available as Ona will take a little bit of poke, but otherwise not too. We can see things out. Kellen moving on forward. Showmaker just trying to block as the Emperor's Divide does come down. He gets over the wall. The flash hook is going to ring true here for Kellen. And the cage is going to come out as well. Faker, not long for the world. And Lucid will pick up that kill. Actually going to give the kill. I always get a little bit worried here because oftentimes they do manage to build leads. But in All right. this series, just the gold lead has not really moved. Got a goal like in. 20 and minutes. advantage. Yeah, let's see what they can get done here as the hook is going to connect. But it's on the carrier. The cage comes down as well, but it's not enough to stun him up. DK should be able to get themselves their first dragon as King and teleported in. There's the knock-up with the three talent strike. Looks like he is going to be okay. There's a flash in from Kellen, but it finds nothing. Still terrible, but it's not as terrible. So there you go. Aiming up here as well, he, he's going to be able to grab this plate as now Carrier by himself is going to get hooked up as Lucid finding himself a stun as well. Aiming just wanting to maximize the amount of plates that he can pick up as teleport in from T1. Dead. Kellen knows that he's really dead and that is going to be a kill going over to Goomer as well. And Faker, he wants even more good flash out there from Aiming. He's still going to have to vacate the area. There's a flash forward, the ulti, the Q didn't land. Therefore, Zayas will survive. Gets on top of Kellen, but his dredge line was already being buffered. They're gonna have to give it up, and they need to be careful because there is a lot of engage. Carry has his ultimate available. Yep. It's just gonna be Herald. But first turn blood, probably gonna be able to go over here. Faker though, once he shows up. Well, Lucid gonna make this one a 50-50. Let's see what can happen. It is gonna be the steal away. There's so much AoE damage coming down. The Dawning Shadow, massive value. And Zayas has made his way into the fight. It's a one for one so far, but the Bane is starting to pop off. Lucid gets over the wall, and now Showmaker left for dead. No flash because he used it earlier. And it's a double kill. Zayas now finally set up for some success. Old Showmaker doesn't have his TP just yet. Zayas is hiding in the fog of war, but as soon as Showmaker shows, he's gonna keep on pushing. T1 are forcing DK to make a decision. Yeah, and there's the flash forward. The cage is down there as well. Stun! And he's just dead. Ona taken out. That is the pick you're looking for, but this is the problem. T1, is it going to be worth it for DK if this inner turret goes down? And I just don't know because 700 gold going over to just Zayas, then the global gold as well. Uh, to be fair, if you if you don't see, see Zayas, you lose the fight anyway. So how who cares how fat he is? It's fine. Yeah, is what DK is probably saying. And comes right now. Is that true? We'll, we'll have to see how the game progresses. It's going to be the second Drake going over, but again, due to the early Drake from T1, no soul point, which is something that I think they would ideally really like to have. Another four minutes, and it's not uh, even a soul. It is just soul point that they'll Fight. be fighting for. As Kellen now finds himself in amongst two. Showmaker and Lucid a little bit too far away. I don't know whether they're going to be able to save him, but he gets a big old shield. Showmaker flashes away, and T1 are just going to jump down on top of him. He can't click the blast cone. He's oh, running. Oh, it's a disaster. Meanwhile, the fight on the top side is also T1 favored. Faker takes down the Cassante. Lucid, I'm not sure about this one. He's trying to get his way out. So dead. As Zayas is chasing after him. Vayne, pretty good at chasing you down, as it turns out, as he flash, as he tumbles forwards. It's not enough. Can they make a hero play? Showmaker does have smite and TP. Okay, let's see whether Showmaker can get something crazy Aiming done. Assault. Oh, double TP. He has Might done it before. This. Yeah, exactly. They know. Eric yeah, yeah, they see it. They're, like, no, 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 they're no, no, gonna no. pick this one up. Okay, so it's gonna have to be Showmaker's smite that wins this one out. Carrier does have teleport. He can make his way back in. This is Baron not going down anytime soon. TP Both carrier behind them. Looking for a little bit of an engage. As they're trying to block him off, they're going to see whether they can kill the Sejuani before this one is even a problem. But the all-out comes over the wall. It's absolutely fantastic. Again. They take down Ona. 
but still Fake is able to hunt down the Cassante Showmaker once again, trying to run from Zeus. He gets himself a big old shield, but he won't find the cage. And he's on one health. The flash forward from Doomer is gonna be what gets it done. And there is another team fight victory for T1 here. Lucid just showing up as the rest of his teammates take a dirt nap. Uh, this is Zeus, obviously. The, oh, he has RFC, Storm Razor, and Triforce. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a very scary. It's, it's thing. gone. Yeah, yeah it's, and that it, there is there is absolutely no contesting this one. It is just a second dragon for T1, and it's Chemtech, so probably not. Seeing as, oh, I don't know if they're going to be able to try and contest this. They're going to give it. They're all. Yeah, teleport going to come on forward from the Cassante. They got what they wanted. Let's see whether T1 stick around for a fight. The baby cage not really doing too much here. Keeping an aggro, but going to drop it after all. Yeah. Maybe an actual five v five. Piercing Darkness able to keep them very healthy in this fight as well as the Sand Soldiers go forward. That's another cage. Hook is going to come through. No one stunned though. And there's the re-engage. Kellen's down so incredibly low. And there is the pickoff. Cassante trying to get some Cassante things done, but it does not work. It's another kill for the Vayne. I think that makes it seven for Zayas on the top side of the map. TK, they still don't want to give this one up. As Lucid does get into it's the miss. Fast. Yeah, no, this is just absolutely They can't ridiculous. cage him! Literally! And the Baron is getting down lower and lower, aiming, just taking pot shots here from Zayas. He's just able to walk out of the way of the burst fire. The Baron just going to be... And T1 are now bearing down on the base. They still have two minutes of this Baron buff. As that is a nice little flash hook from Kellen. Empress Divide is going to get Faker out of the way, though. Still, oh, they do he... manage to get the flash and the ulti, but they'll oh, sacrifice an inhibitor turret for it. If he didn't have the ult, if he gets the ult faker, then he might be able to kill him, the cage. Yeah, cage does go down. They push them into it, but King and can't really tank them up. Glacial Prison comes down. Carrier, so incredibly tanky. Owner's going to be the first one to grab a kill in this fight. Another cage is going to work out as Lucid diving on That's board. He's got the vein, and Lucid now trying to tumble his way to victory, but he'll be taken out as well. And I think DK are just that little bit too far behind. T1, they do lose their top laner. He has been a hero. On the not, full, yeah. yeah, on the not so plus side, they don't get to farm any of their jungle or any of the dragons or have any vision around any of the okay, barons yeah, or well, anything else. Yeah, I know. Everyone can see that, Atlas. And we're trying to find new angles here. And uh, try and contest. So now the real final team fight is going to be upon us. DK, I guess they have a chance potentially winning a fight. Guys, T1 about to bring in the match point with this Baron buff. Oh, Extendo Beam does no damage to these minions. You can see, okay, in goes Owner. Immediate cleanse from uh, Showmaker. That's help! And yeah, that was just that was just Owner going in. Uh, that's all that really gets them anything. And the inhibitors have oh, just not the triple in him. as well. Kellen, they know wanting oh, to find an angle, know. they spot him out. Mega Blast Cone is something that he can possibly use for a cheeky little angle, but it's not going to be before these inhibitors have all gone down. And Kellen's still just like trying to work out what he can do. The answer is nothing, as there's the explosion on the aiming, the primary target, and he has to go back to the fountain. Kingen's also having to dash away. It's gonna leave their whole base exposed to Zayas. Yes. He'll be taken out. But even with four members, look at all of these minions. They are just gigantic. Kellen's made it to the back line though. Next and Amy's got, got his health right for the Nexus. Right? It's so incredibly low, and there it goes. T1. Point. These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.